Hello everyone, welcome to the 7th video in the devlog series. In today's video I added a new level, a new enemy and much more. Before I begin with today's video I want to announce that we sadly haven't reached 850 subscribers. Mission failed, we'll get them next time. So if you enjoyed the video you can subscribe because that helps me a lot and plus we are trying to reach 850 subscribers by the end of the week. Also, turn on post notifications so you'll never miss a new video. Also, today we have another fanart slash comic. Today's fanart is by Dragon Boy. As you can see, this is a fanart, or you can even say a comic, of Venus. I find this good because this is probably the first comic that I have received for any of my games. So that's why I wanna thank Dragon Boy for this. Alright now, without further ado, let's begin with today's video. The first thing that I've added this week was a new enemy. This en new enemy isn't that innovative, but I still wanted to add it because it's basically just the first enemy. But now it's bigger, darker, and moves slower. Also, this enemy has more health than the previous one. I also added this enemy with guns, with an AK and a pistol. I will also add an Uzi to the enemy since I've already added an Uzi in the previous episode. I will probably use this enemy for the third level. After I added the new enemy it, and its variations I added a new level to the game. As you can see from the previous video I wanted to make this level to be in a factory but also to be in a forest. So that's what I exactly made. As you can see the first half of the level is in a factory and the second part of this level is in a small forest. The first thing that I did was to add a simple terrain. After that I added mountains from each side to block the player from escaping the level. After I added the mountains I added a grass texture. Here's the grass stick. I also added a rock type of a texture. I added this texture so that I can add it to the mountain so that it, the mountains don't look like a wall made of grass. I want them to actually look like real mountains. I also added this texture for a path, so that the player can know where to progress, since there are a lot of trees which means that you can get lost. After I added both of the textures I added a grass... I added two grass types because I wanted to add variety to the game. I don't want the game to look bland and boring. I also added a small amount of the grass on the mountain so that they don't look empty and boring. One downside to the grass assets is that they are made in a different way. When you look at the grass and turn around, the grass will follow you. This type of grass is called billboard grass. I will try and replace this grass in the future, but for now it will do the job. After I added the two types of grasses, I added two different types of trees to the game. The first tree is smaller and has l less branches and leaves. The second tree is taller and of course it has more branches and leaves. I also added two types of trees because I, as I said previously I want to add variety to the game and not to make it look bland and boring. In the future I will also add flowers so that the terrain looks more colorful than it looks now. Here's the terrain with everything added to it. In my opinion it doesn't look that bad. It actually looks pretty cool. After I added the forest to the game, I added a heal object. What I mean by that is that I've added a game object that heals you when you touch it. I added this object for when you, there are a lot of enemies in the level, and you can kill them with the amount of health that you have at the moment. For now it will have this model, which is a cube. In the future I will add a real model and a real texture. I'm thinking of adding a can of beans, since you are playing as a bean. This object will only heal you for 10 HP. 
in the future I might add a bit bigger object that heals you even more. But for now this will do. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that I've added the first easter egg to the game. This easter egg will be in, on the third level. I won't show it to you guys. I want you to experience it by yourself when the game comes up. The only hint that I will give you will be a tree. Good luck on finding this trick when the game comes out. The final thing that I've added this week was actually a simple bug fix. Before, if you jumped on a barrel or another game object, you couldn't jump. You would get stuck. Thankfully, I found a way to fix this, which means that now you can jump and finally not get stuck when you are on top of a game object. Before I end the video, I want to announce that I have my own Discord server. On the server you can talk about game dev, about my channel and much more. If you want to send fan art for me, the best way is Discord. The invite to the server will be in the description and in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching another episode of the devlog series for Venus, my first 3D game. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe cause that helps me a lot. And plus we are trying to reach 850 subscribers by the end of the week. Stay tuned for more uploads and until then I will see you guys in the next video.